What percentage of the city's roads have been, you know, severely impacted by the storm? We don't have a uh, exact figure, but uh, it's mostly on the local streets. There are still some streets that uh, are not able to, uh, to be passable just because of fallen trees and branches. Uh, I would say it's a single digit percentage. And for in terms of intersections and you know stoplights, do you have any idea of the scale of it there? Well, we have. At the peak of it, how many were without power? Uh, at one time, we were at about 800, 800 to 900 signals without power. And, and sorry, is, is a signal a complete intersection, or would every intersection have four or five signals? Uh, well, at one uh, intersection, there are obviously uh, signal heads on each approach, mm -hmm. but we just had a limit that had one intersection in one location for conversation. In terms of cost, how much does this sort of set back the budget allotted to deal with winter cleanup? Well, in terms of the, the winter cleanup, uh, we've obviously responded uh, tremendously to the uh, ice, fall ice storm. Uh, I, I also want to remind everyone that we had the back-to-back -back weekend storm uh, the weekend before on the 14th, 15th. We had uh, about 18 centimeters of snow. Obviously, last weekend we had to deal with multiple rounds of salting. I think we were out eight times on the road, salting the roads and sidewalks, uh, and we continue to do so. Budget carries through the end of the year, and we're, uh, we had a surplus going into the months of November and December, and we're still tracking on budget. Do we have a dollar figure? Uh, I can't give you a dollar figure right now. Yes, uh, as I said, we've made great progress.
folks are not going to stop going to these press conferences until every single 